Good morning again, my dear friends. Hey, I did a video for y'all, uh, not reading through the Bible type video, just a video that the Holy Spirit gave me content for yesterday, late yesterday, and I jotted it down. I took notes and I recorded it over an hour ago. And it is still uploading. It's a 35 minute long video, which is not real long, but I guess my internet must be slow today or something. Something's going on because it's been uploading for an hour, over an hour. I reckon it'll be up sometime. <laughs> now I'm going to do our read through the Bible together in the Old Testament, and I'll be back later with another bonus video and then this evening I'll be back with our read through together in 2023 from the New Testament. So here we go in the Old Testament we have read through Numbers chapter 28 and I'm not reading in order the read through the Bible together I'm skipping around to different books in the Bible so even though Numbers is close to the front, I have read a lot of books from the Old Testament at the end of the Old Testament already. So we're just kind of skipping around, going wherever the Holy Spirit leads us to go. And right now we are in Numbers, and we're going to be in Numbers a few more days, probably five more days. I'm going to try to do three chapters out of Numbers this morning, two at least, maybe three. But to do that, i got to stop flapping my jaws and start reading. So here we go, friends. Numbers chapter 29. <clears throat> and in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work. It is a day... Of blowing the trumpets unto you, and ye shall offer a burnt offering for a sweet savour unto the Lord, one young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year, without blemish. And their meat offerings shall be of flour mingled with oil, three tenth, three tenth deals for a bullock, and two tenth deals for a ram. And one tenth deal for one lamb throughout the seven lambs, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering to make an atonement for you. Beside the burnt offering of the month, and his meat offering, and the daily burnt offering, and his meat offering, and their drink offerings according to their manner for a sweet savor, sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall have on the tenth day of the seventh month a holy convocation, and ye shall afflict your souls. Ye shall not do any work therein. But ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord for a sweet savor, and one young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year. They shall be unto you without blemish. <coughs> And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil, three-tenth deals to a bullock, and two-tenth deals to one ram, a several-tenth deal for one lamb throughout the seven lambs, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, beside the sin offering of atonement, and the continual burnt offering, and the meat offering of it, and their drink offerings. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work, and ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord for seven days. And ye shall offer a burnt offering, a sacrifice made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord, thirteen young bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year, they shall be without blemish, and their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil, 
three tenth deals onto every bullock of the 13 bullocks, two tenth deals to each ram of the two rams, and a several tenth deal to each lamb of the 14 lambs, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. Friends, I said it before, I'm going to say it again. All of these precise instructions and measurements and what kind of animal to sacrifice for this or for that or for whatever, all without blemish, all a certain age, they needed an Excel worksheet to keep up with all that back then. How in the world they did keep up with all of these commands from the Lord, I got no idea. I, I would have trouble doing it <laughs> today with all the modern technology we got. I don't know how they kept up with it. Enough of that rambling. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering beside the continual burnt offering his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the second day, he shall offer 12 young bullocks, two rams, 14 lambs of the first year without spot. They also need to have a big form to raise all these animals. And their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner and one kid of the goats for a sin offering besides the continual burnt offering and the meat offering thereof and the drink offerings and on the third day eleven bullocks two rams fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish and their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks for the rams and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner and one goat for a sin offering beside the continual burnt offering and his meat offering and his drink offering. And on the fourth day, ten bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish. Their meat offering and their drink offerings of the, for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner and one kid of the goats for a sin offering beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the fifth day, nine bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without spot, and their meat offering, and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner. And one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, and his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the sixth day, eight bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meat offering, and their drink offerings, for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs, shall be according to their number, after the matter. And one goat, for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the seventh day, seven bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meat offering, and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner. And one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. On the eighth day, ye shall have a solemn assembly. Ye shall do no servile work therein, but ye shall offer a burnt offering, a sacrifice made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. One bullock, one ram, seven lambs, of the first year without blemish. Their, their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullock, for the ram, and for the lamb shall be according to their number after the manner. 
and one goat offering, one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering and his meat offering and his drink offering. These things ye shall do unto the Lord in your set feasts, beside your vows and your free will offerings, for your burnt offerings and for your meat offering, and for your drink offerings, and for your peace offerings. And Moses told the children of Israel according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. Bam, y'all. That ends the 29th chapter of Numbers. Let me get a drink here. Because all those offerings made me thirsty. I got a water offering. You know, I have an app on my phone. It's a calendar. And each day I can put an event or a doctor's appointment or pick up medication at the pharmacy, whatever. Just a reminder to me, from me, of what I need to do when. And I can set alarms where it will send me a notice reminding me of, of those appointments or places I need to go or things I need to do. And even with that, modern technology, I still forget stuff. How in the world they kept up with stuff back then, I got no idea. I, I would not do good in those days, keeping up with everything that had to be done. And, and they were precise, very precise. And if you didn't do it exactly according to the way God told Moses they had to do it, then that was a sin, a, a bad sin. All right, chapter 30, the book of Numbers. Moses spake unto the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord hath commanded. And whatever the Lord commands, we best do. It looks like I got a bruise right there, but I don't. I don't know what the heck that spot is. Wherever I turn my head, it stays there. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceedeth out of his mouth. If a woman also vow a vow unto the Lord and bind herself by a bond, being in her father's house in her youth, <clears throat> and her father hear her vow, and her bond wherewith she hath bound her soul, and her father shall hold his peace at her, then all her vows shall stand, and every bond wherewith she hath bound her soul shall stand. But if her father disallow her in the day that he heareth, not any of her vows or of her bonds wherewith she hath bound her soul shall stand. And the Lord shall forgive her, because her father disallowed her. And if she had at all a husband when she vowed, or uttered aught, aught out of her lips, wherewith she bound her soul, and her husband heard it, and held his peace at her in the day that he heard it, then her vows shall stand, and her bonds wherewith she bound her soul shall stand. But if her husband disallowed her on the day that he heard it, then he shall make her vow which she vowed, and that which she uttered with her lips, wherewith she bound her soul of none effect, and the Lord shall forgive her. But every vow of a widow and of her that is divorced, 
wherewith they have bound their souls shall stand against her. And if she vowed in her husband's house or bound her soul by a bond with an oath and her husband heard it and held his peace at her and disallowed her not, then all her vows shall stand and every bond wherewith she bound her soul shall stand. But if her husband hath utterly made them void on the day he heard them, then whatsoever proceeded out of her lips concerning her vows or concerning the bond of her soul shall not stand. Her husband hath made them void, and the Lord shall forgive her. Every vow and every binding oath to afflict a soul, her husband may establish it, or her husband may make it void. But if her husband altogether hold his peace at her from day to day, then he establisheth all her vows or all her bonds which are upon her. He confirmeth them because he held his peace at her in the day that he heard them. But if he shall anyways make them void after that he hath heard them, then he shall bear her iniquity. These are the same, these are the statues which the Lord commanded Moses between a man and his wife, between the father and his daughter, being yet in her youth in her father's house. Chapter 31 of the book of Numbers. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Avenge the children of Israel of the Midianites. Afterward shalt thou be gathered unto thy people. And Moses spake unto the people, saying, Arm some of yourselves unto the war, and let them go against the Midianites, and avenge the Lord of Midian. Every tribe a thousand throughout all the tribes of Israel shall ye send to the war. So they were delivered out of the thousands of Israel, a thousand of every tribe, twelve thousand armed for war. And Moses sent them to the war, a thousand of every tribe, them and Phinehas, the son of Eleazar the priest, to the war with the holy instruments and the trumpets to blow in his hand. And they warred against the Midianites as the Lord commanded Moses, and they slew all the males. And they slew the kings of Midian beside the rest of them that were slain, namely Evi and Rechem, and Zer and Hur and Reba, five kings of Midian, Baliam also the son of Bor, and they slew them with the sword. And the children of Israel took all the women of Midian captives and their little ones and took the spoil of all their cattle and all their flocks and all their goods. And they burnt all their cities wherein they dwelt and all their goodly castles with fire. And they took all the spoil and all the prey, both of men and of beasts. And they brought the captives and the prey and the spoil unto Moses and Eleazar the priest and unto the congregation of the children of Israel unto the camp at the plains of Moab, which are by Jordan near Jericho. And Moses and Eleazar the priest and all the princes of the congregation went forth to meet them without the camp. And Moses was wroth with the officers of the host, with the captains over thousands and the captains over hundreds, which came from the battle. And Moses said unto them, Have ye saved all the women alive? Behold, these caused the children of Israel, through the counsel of Balaam, to commit trespass against the Lord in the matter 
of Peor, and there was a plague among the congregation of the Lord. Now therefore kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman that hath known man by lying with him. But all the women, children that have not known a man by lying with him, keep alive for yourselves. And do ye abide without the camp seven days. Whosoever hath killed any person, and whosoever hath touched any slain, purify both yourselves and your captives on the third day and on the seventh day. And purify all your raiment, and all that is made of skins, and all the work of goat's hair, and all things made of wood. And Eleazar the priest said unto the men of war, which went to the battle, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord commanded Moses. <clears throat> Only the gold and the silver, the brass, the iron, the tin, and the lead, everything that may abide the fire, ye shall make it go through the fire, and it shall be clean, nevertheless it shall be purified with the water of separation. And all that abideth not the fire ye shall make go through the water. And ye shall wash your clothes on the seventh day, and ye shall be clean, and afterward ye shall come into the camp. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the sum of the prey that was taken, both of man and of beast, thou and Eleazar the priest, and the chief fathers of the congregation, and divide the prey into two parts between them that took the war upon them, who went out to battle, and between all the congregation, and Levi a tribute unto the Lord of the men of war, which went out to battle, one soul of five hundred, both of the persons and of the beeves, and of the asses, and of the sheep. Take it of their half, and give it unto Eleazar the priest, for a heave offering of the Lord. This is a long chapter, y'all. Goodness gracious. And I don't know how far it goes. It just keeps going and going. It's still another page. And the children of Israel's half, thou shalt take one portion of fifty of the poor persons, of the beeves, of the asses, and of the flocks of all manners of beasts, and give them unto the Levites, which keep the charge of the tabernacle of the Lord. Whew, I gotta get a breath. <laughs> And Moses and Eleazar the priest did as the Lord commanded Moses. And the booty, being the rest of the prey which the men of war had caught, was six hundred thousand and seventy thousand and five thousand sheep. That's a lot of sheep. That's a lot of sheep. And threescore and twelve thousand beeves. Well, that's a lot of beeves. And three score and one thousand asses. That's a lot of ass. And thirty and two thousand persons. That's a lot of people. Of women that had not known man by lying with them. I bet they couldn't find that many today. And the half, which was a portion of them that went out to war, was in number three hundred thousand and seven and thirty thousand and five hundred sheep. That's a lot of sheep. And the Lord's tribute of these sheep was six hundred and three score and fifteen. And the beeves were thirty and six thousand, of which the Lord of which the Lord's tribute was three score and twelve. And the asses were thirty thousand and five hundred of which the Lord's tribute was three score and one. And the persons were 16,000, of which the Lord's tribute was 30 and two persons. 
And Moses gave the tribute, which was the Lord's heave offering unto Eleazar the priest, as the Lord commanded Moses. And of the children of Israel's half, which Moses divided from the men that warred, now the half that pertaineth to the congregation was three hundred thousand and thirty thousand and seven thousand and five hundred sheep and thirty-six and six thousand beeves and thirty thousand asses and five hundred and sixteen thousand persons even of the children of Israel's half Moses took one portion of fifty both of man and of beast and gave them unto the Levites which kept the charge of the tabernacles of the Lord as the Lord commanded Moses and the officers which were over thousands of the host the captains of thousands and captains of hundreds came near unto Moses and they said unto Moses thy servants have taken the sum of the men of war which are under our charge and there lacketh not one man of us we have therefore brought an oblation for the Lord what every man hath gotten of jewels of gold chains and bracelets rings earrings and tablets to make an atonement for our souls before the Lord and Moses and Eleazar the priest took the gold of them even all wrought jewels and all the gold of the offerings that they offered up to the Lord of the captains of thousands and of the captains of hundreds was 16,750 shekels for the men of war had taken spoil every man for himself and Moses and Eleazar the priest took the gold of the captives of thousands of hundreds and of hundreds and brought it into the tabernacle of the congregation for a memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord. And bam, y'all, that's the end of chapter 31 of the book of Numbers. I'll get this video uploading and then I've got a bonus video and then I've got I am going to read some more from Psalms and then this evening I'll do the evening New Testament reading so I've done this is the second video today and I got three more to do and then I can do housework and cook I may forget the cooking for breakfast I had some jerky beef jerky that's some good stuff not really breakfast food but it was quick and easy and I was hungry so that was my breakfast all right y'all I'll be back with you in another hour or so it is cold here even with this t-shirt and long sleeve sweater I am still cold I gotta get something on my ball head and I may take this sweater off and put something heavier and warmer on because it is cold. I got the heater on, but I want to turn it, do not want to turn it up higher than it already is. So I may be dressed differently in the next video. Love y'all. I appreciate every one of you. My my subscriber count is dropping again. I don't understand that. I do not understand, but it is what it is. As long, what did God say? As long as two or three are gathered together in my name, there will I be also. As long as I got two or three of you here that are faithful, then I'll be here. So, bam, y'all. That's that from this old ball-headed, cold redneck. My heart's not cold, my soul's not cold, but my ball head is cold. <laughs> and the rest of my body is cold. Be back with y'all later. 
unless we get raptured out of here. And then we will be living with the word and not just reading it. God bless you, friend.